Sit. Lay down. Roll over. It's a good boy. In this video, I'm going to show you how to modify your Suron to have some back LED lights. Alright, so I'm about to meet up with my friend Lucky. I'm about to install the lights that you saw earlier. And I'm just going to show you the way I do it and my version 1. I hope you enjoy. And yes, I was waiting for the cops to leave. Crazy how I was just passing by and I just see this. That's amazing. Prospect Park. This is my boy Lucky. Yo, you gonna be mad at me, bro. Why, what's up? You I didn't bring it? No, nah, oh. I brought everything. I left my fucking wallet, yo. Oh, I shit. I got you, though. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, I got that, you. For that. Do, I'll give it to you tomorrow. I'll meet you anywhere. It don't matter. At Lucky's intro. Yo, that's me. The server, huh? You already know. That's mine. That. Look at that. I'm not gonna lie, he got the underglow. I didn't even think about that. I didn't even fucking think about that. That was, that was Lucky's idea. That was yeah. Lucky's idea. This, this is version one. Version 1.2. Yes, yes. Collaboration. Collaboration, man. Eh? This is sick. Okay, guys. So what I just realized after coming back home and seeing the footage is that I got really bad footage so what i'm going to do is just show it to you in a much more simple manner and kind of just give you the runarounds about it hope you enjoy all right guys so the lights that i'm going to install the whole process is quite simple you're going to need a few things obviously the lights um i have them on the bike but i'll they basically look like this I'll put a link in the description to everything that I'm going to show you right now. So you need the lights and then next you need obviously what I use is a battery pack. I'll put the link to the description as well. Some wire splitters and these connectors over here. They would fit they fit well right into that. I'm going to show you why I'm using these instead of these that come with the packet, uh, sorry, that come with these uh, in the battery. As you can see, I didn't even touch them. I don't really use them. I like to split up my own. And then and most importantly, these soldering and seal connectors. These are really important. I'm going to show you why. That's basically all you need and also as well, just some creativity. I'm going to show you why. So this is how I have my setup. I have the LED lights right here, here, a few more in there. Um, you can really put them anywhere you like. I just think this is the best one. I'm gonna soon put some right here. Don't know why I'm using a screwdriver, but just cause. <laughs> put it right here. And uh, basically, you're gonna notice in the picture, I'm gonna put it up again, that it comes with a controller. A small little controller that's right here. I stick it to this flat platform that's right here. And along comes along with it is this, uh, let me see if you can see it, like a little fuse for the lights. Now we have that, find the spots, right? And um, I, when I'm done placing them, they all are actually hanging out on the side. This is why this is my version one. Version two, I'm gonna find something that's much more cleaner. But for now, these are just version ones. I got a little creative, I took a little plastic ABS, cut it out. So this is very important to have all the wires like kind of stuck here and pushed up against the bike. So if you look closely in here, just a mess of wires in there. Like I said, version one, some people wanted to see how I did it currently. Well, this is how I'm doing it. So I have that kind of all just pushed up in there and I have these zip ties zipped along the side so nothing could be hanging out they're actually pretty sturdy that i put even an led strip there anyway so whatever this is the i guess the most tedious thing to do is you know, wiring them up connecting them because they these come with like little connectors it's pretty simple plug and play put them in there and um where you're gonna get your power from so 
This is where this guy comes in. At the end, there's at the end of these strips, I wish I could show you, there's obviously two uh, two strings, a red and a black. So what you want to do is, this is where this guy comes in. You see right here, you got a red and black. You just connect them, and then you solder them together. I'm going to show you how right now. So basically, these are going to emulate what the end tip of these lights are going to have. You're going to have a, a red and then a black. As you can see, with this battery pack, right, that I have here, uh, what comes with it is these wires. You can't really plug in these wires to these LED lights, so that's why I don't really use them. So what I do is with these that I'm also going to show you why it's important, you basically just, with the lights and then the wires, you just kind of just connect them. This is how. Boom. You got the wire strippers. Find... Now, wait, what's gonna happen is my uh, makeshift LED lights, right, that are right here. You're gonna connect them to, and those you can do easily. So what I like to do, obviously first, this is always important, you take this and you kinda like push it in. You're gonna see why. After you put the, the heat shrink tube, in on the red side what you're going to do is repeat this process on the black side so open them up right as you can see open up the other side as well push them together right so they can do like a little cross fan and then you snag them and then kind of just twist around right do a nice little twist around have something like this and then you take your heat shrink tube and then you start pushing it in. Once you guys have the, the two wires lined up, the soldering block should be in the middle between them. And what is recommended is to use a, a heat gun. But if you don't have a heat gun, like how I don't, you can do it the kind of retro way. And you're going to see as such, heat them up. Just keep heating it up. You're going to do these for both the red and the black side. So they should come out to look something like this once you heat it up, do one and then one on the other wire. Um, once you have them, there's like a hole in this area you can find. You kind of just put them through inside there and up to around around here. There's like a little space. There's enough space for it to kind of like move around. This is how I do it. You can do it however you like. and. Um, yeah, you'll have this hanging out. And as I mentioned earlier with all this, I took some ABS plastic, pushed it up, make sure everything is not pulling. And once you close it right there, the wire should still be here. And this is how I power them. So here's the power battery, right? On, off. Uh, personally, what I did you don't have to do it, but to keep it secure, I put it in this area right here. I put a two-sided Velcro, one here, one there. Slap it down like that. And it's fairly secure, as you can see. Look, let me see. As you can see, it's on an angle. It's really secure. But for me, since I'm always, you know, going up and down curbs upstairs I always I have this little uh, this kind of strap you click in place anyways so what you do is you take the other end of this wire right here you plug it in that's how that's how my setup is right it's connected there you turn it on I'm gonna show you in a second have it connected through the hole you know have like this little ghetto makeshift thing have hold all the wires and then all your beautiful wires will be just there displayed and then at night time let me turn off the lights you can see how it goes another thing oh my bad i forgot to mention another thing that i forget to mention is that it comes with this key fob it doesn't look like this this shit broke and it fell so i guess 
after two drops. Remember, they're only like 50 bucks compared, but whatever they fell, we turned them on right here. And with this specific lights, uh, they have all these functions. I'm not gonna go over them because it's not about the key pods, but yeah, you get to turn them on, change colors, and they look beautiful at night. Main thing is you can turn them off as well. So, you know, in case you wanna have this powered on, you don't have to flick the wire. You don't have, they'll, they'll turn on, but then they'll turn off immediately. So as you can see, I put my lights there, and this is how they look like. They look obviously much better at nighttime, which I'll show you. If you have any questions about how to install this or if you get your own please message me on Instagram I'll leave it down in the description below along with everything that I talked about in this video I hope you guys enjoyed it um, like subscribe and I'll see you in the next video